the Colorado journey continues. The elevation is high, the grades are steep, but the views are gorgeous, people. We pickling, we pickling, we pickling. Dink it, dink it, shrink it, shrink it. Roll it. What am I doing, wheelchair? Okay. Let's get out loud. <laughs> We're currently on a seven day schedule. Packing, hitching, towing, and moving to a new city every seven days. Last week, we left the barbecue capital for the Rockies. And this week, we're gonna be checking out the Colorado National Monument. Just so happy. I love national parks. Palisade, Aspen, and we're staying in. Grand Junction. The city gets its name from the Gunnison River and the Colorado River coming together. The RV park that we're staying at is called Canyon View RV Resort, and it truly feels like we are in this valley up looking at this beautiful canyon, these bright colored red and orange rocks. It's freaking stunning. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, so far we're loving Colorado. Most of the people here have been pretty friendly. There's a lot of people who are not originally from Colorado who've all moved here. A lot from the Midwest and the East Coast. Uh, definitely you got those Californians, you know, we're everywhere. God, move it, California. Idiot. What's that? Oh, this? Oh, well, well, no, I'm not a native, but my kids are. And uh, we just got coffee, grabbed a quick coffee at... Kiln Coffee, and their slogan is live life refined. Yes, and so we went downtown. We didn't know that there was a car show today. I guess we're here at just the best time. It's popping, weather's wonderful, the snow has not come yet. Dear God, stay away, please, because we still have a few more weeks here. So we're going to do the Rim Rock Drive and check out the Colorado National Monument, which is only 15 minutes from our RV resort, which is pretty sweet. And then if we have time, I'd like for us to go make the drive to Grand Mesa, which supposedly is the tallest table mountain, not just in the US, but potentially the world, I want to say. A local gave us a little tip. He's like, it's hunting season right now, so if you guys head over there, make sure to wear some bright colors. <laughs> and I'm like, will do. Uh, whoops, this is not very bright. I blend in with those uh, big horn sheep right now. Yeah, you know? yeah. Dang. No more camo for you, Nathan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My engine. Fuck! But yeah, really excited to get into some more nature. Hello, hello. Dang, awesome beard. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like a brochure? Uh, sure, and then so the Rim Rock Drive, mm -hmm. it's on this, right? You're on it. I'm on it. Oh, yeah, as on soon it. as you pass the sign, and basically the road switches names. Okay. Uh, it's going to be about 23 miles all the way across. It's not well, a loop, though, right? It is not. It's It'll put you out in Fruta, and it takes about an hour to drive all the way through. Easy. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, and how long until like the actual national monument? You're on it. Oh, this yep. is all of it right here? All of it, yep. The whole 23 miles is the National Monument. <laughs> okay. There's uh, overlooks every mile or so. Okay. So you're looking at 23-ish overlooks. Wow, all right. Wow. Uh, we've got like 100 miles worth of trail systems. And our visitor center will be about 19 miles from here, uh, just about on your way out. Hey, awesome. this is awesome. We're, right. we're excited. We're stoked. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Cheers. Enjoy. Yay, and the sun's coming out. It's been raining on and off the last few days, so hopefully We'll get some vitamin D and it'll help us to show you guys the beauty of this place. Fun fact, we're only 38 miles from the Utah border. So I had no idea that Colorado had all this. I always just thought of like mountains and trees and lakes and rivers, but I didn't know that it also has so much of this beautiful red rock. Makes sense. Super close to Utah, this whole area of the United States. This is windy, and we got a lot of switchbacks. <laughs> Supposedly there's like 52 switchbacks on this drive. And uh, yeah, we've already experienced quite a few of them, but just be ready for that. <laughs> first pull off. And first. There's only room for one car, and I'm taking it. Ooh, don't go off the cliff. Oh. Geological wonders of the world. <laughs> Yo. Dang. That rock looks sliced by the hand of God. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, seriously. Is that man-made? Oh, we got a tunnel coming? What does it say? 10-6? 10, 10-6. Six? Six. Oh, dang. Oh, okay, look. Rock. Tunnel. tunnel. <laughs> we going through. 
We don't honk in Too nature. Too much honking. Oh my god. Are you serious? Dude, we're gonna start a, <laughs> a dog house called Pomeranian Paradise. Yeah. I want to let everybody pass because I want to enjoy this honestly. I don't want to feel rushed. Yeah. Our first get out and look. Actually, this is our second, I guess. Nathan. Oh. We had the cold shivers point. <laughs> You're so crazy. Are your nips getting hard? <laughs> Don't trash the monument. And there's a photo of a van getting pulled out. I don't believe that was an intentional mistake. <laughs> Back to that national park. Well, national monument life. It's like you pull over, you stop, run out, get the shot, enjoy it for a second, keep going. I think we have like 20 more stops. Yahoo! Yippee! Waha! I'm a tired. We got our first runner, dude. <laughs> He was nice, looked in pain, but... I could see the agony in his eyes. Yeah, he gave a nice little wave. I was like, good for you. I think he had, a, he had a water pack and that might have been a weighted vest. So, pretty serious, dude. Dude, what you chewing on, dude? Top above. <laughs> Smells glorious. All I want is some calamari steak. Add a little tartar sauce on the side. Calamari steak, calamari steak. Hook a brother up with some calamari steak. <laughs> I want some tartar sauce, put it on the side. I did that shit and make it with some little fried rice. Calamari <laughs> steak. <laughs> Just left the visitor center and we are now wrapping up the Rim Rock Drive. Since there's so many stops along the way, like every mile there's basically a pullout, we took us probably about two hours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just beautiful though, like the views up here, like you just like, get the canyons, the red rocks, all the different formations. And we did watch a, a quick little movie at the visitor center that gave us a, kind of a rundown of the geological history of the area and how you know millions of years have essentially created this place. And that's pretty special. It's it's definitely, I mean, it makes you appreciate it more and it makes us also feel just so grateful to be in this kind of environment surrounded by so much beauty. This area really reminds me so much of Moab, Utah, and also Sedona, Arizona. And that's because it shows that that Colorado Plateau goes over the four states, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, and Utah. Yeah. So it makes sense why all the land looks very similar. Which is honestly one of the most beautiful parts of the United States in our opinion. There's just so much to see in this area. And yeah, road tripping, it's for like dream road trip. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Area, like so stunning. And every day you wake up, we come out of the RV park and it's just there. Yeah. It's like, how is this real life? I can see why people who move here, they, oh. it's hard for them to leave. Canyon views, baby. I just had the most unique experience showering at an RV resort. No way. <laughs> Brilliant, but kind of reminded me of being in Squid Games. <sighs> We're staying at a very lovely RV resort and I arrived to the bathrooms. It's a single stall, so you have the whole place to yourself. Love that. And as I'm undressing, I see there's instructions for how to shower. I'm like, this is new. So weird, but so brilliant. The only thing is the sounds it made. All right, so they have so many different bathrooms, which is really nice. Look how freaking new and clean everything is. This is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> so this is a timer. It's gonna give me 15 minutes to shower and then every minute on the minute, it's gonna go beep and let you know. Oh my God. Literally I have like nine minutes and I still have to shave my legs. <laughs> Oh 
No way. <laughs> Wait time is flashing, so I have to wait five minutes if I want to do it again. Woo! Wasn't expecting that rush in my shower today. So a fun thing we learned about the Grand Junction area that we actually had no clue about before coming here was that we're in wine country. This is Colorado's wine country, and just 20 minutes down the road is this town called Palisade that has over 30 wineries. Coincidentally, we also happen to be here during Wine Fest, which is like one of their biggest wine events of the year, but the tickets are sold out. So unfortunately, we're not we're not, we can't go, we're not going. But this whole week, there's a lot of free events hosted by some of these wineries. And one of them is a free sunset concert tonight. So we're gonna drive to Palisade. Let's, Let's get, get our wine, wine on. on. This is so pretty. It's like you have all these vineyards just in this little area, and then you have the canyon. I'm walking back to the car really quick to get my jacket. Yeah, this, this event is super intimate, so it feels kind of weird just like pulling out the camera and talking to it, and people probably being like, what? It's very like local, you know? But this place is so freaking beautiful. Look at the canyons. Like we're literally on top of this little cliff overlooking water canyons. It's just beautiful. And the wine is really, really good. And they're letting you basically pay 10 bucks and you get to try like, I think eight or nine wines. We became besties with the workers and we sat and talked with them for like an hour. So we totally missed sunset. We decided to buy a bottle. We made really good friends and we thought, hey, these friends were- We had a full blown tasting and made some awesome friends. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Just what are you? Five donkey. Little honey stinger mini waffles. Don't know what these are, just got them from a gas station, but I am jolly AF. Sun is out, the trees are gorgeous, a lot of red rock. The Colorado River, we just keep seeing it peeking through. What's the plan for today, Nathan? Today is a mega drive day, that is the plan. So we're right now, we're in Grand Junction and we're gonna be driving all the way to Aspen, stopping in Palisade. Glenwood Springs, and then the Aspen, the Snowmass Village, Maroon Bells area. Yeah, so today we're scouting for a future longer trip somewhere in this area in Colorado. Yeah, we felt so in love with this area that we're like already planning a longer stay here in the future. And we want to find, you know, a nice ski resort that's not too pricey and a nice area where we can do like winter activities and sports. So. Jesus Christ, Nathan. Oh. Scared the shit out of me. Grand Junction's a pretty interesting place, I'd say. It's wine country along with Palisade. And then Glenwood Springs is more known for like their natural hot springs. And then you just have the beautiful mountains and the very bougie, resorty town of Aspen. Aspen it is. That's, I think, one of the most expensive places in all of the United States. Really? I think my someone told me to check out Zillow and I did and I couldn't believe just how outrageously expensive these homes were. Sure it's gonna be beautiful. Ever since I've seen Dumb and Dumber. Uh, that's your really warm. Isn't it funny though talking to some of the locals about Aspen because you get totally mixed things. Like a lot of the locals and at least Grand Junction, they're like, oh, Aspen's overrated. It's overrated. It's so expensive. Go these other places. So we're like, okay, well, we still have to see it. Yeah. We, just, yeah, we yeah. just want to see it, even if it's just a, you know, a cultural anthropological experience, <laughs> just to observe people, those kinds of people in their natural habitat. Yeah. You know, what's it like to, to live in a town like that. But yeah, I'd say the large majority of locals were 
kind of saying, you know, they got the snub, yeah. snub factor. What's the parking situation, dude? Dude, it's like six bucks an hour. It's ridiculous. Just for the side of the road, like the street. Yeah. This is six dollars an hour. I mean, it is downtown, but still. Well, we're only going to be here an hour, so it's only six bucks, but it's really the idea of well, the charging that's the people. most expensive we found. Yeah, for sure. We've been sandwiched by Subarus. So we just walked around Aspen. We're getting ready to leave now. And this place is so charming. There are so many amazing little shops. Uh, Nathan made a joke earlier that there was a lot of like, you know, older people shops, <laughs> but there's actually quite a, quite a mix. Um, and a lot of the restaurants look like they're serving really good food. Um, just really beautiful and charming area. The parking is pretty expensive. It's a disaster. But yeah. Six dollars an hour. hour. Which is like. I've never seen that before. It's unheard of. No. But we managed, look, we managed to find a little residential free spot. So that's been good. Up to two hours free. Up to two hours free. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we got to talk to some like locals and some shop owners and stuff who were very friendly, but for sure walking around the downtown, a lot of elevator eyes, a lot of people like, it's like that feeling of like, people are kind of sizing everyone up and everyone's Keeping wearing. up with the Joneses. Yeah. They're like wearing really like a lot of designer stuff and whatever. And you know, that's great. But. I would say for me personally, not really my vibe. I think, I bet you there's a community here that's like really welcoming and friendly, but just the first vibe that we got was almost similar to like, you know, some parts of Southern California. Yeah, I think it's a little bit like that. I mean, I'm sure a lot, there's a lot of transplants here and a lot of people from other states that have the means that have moved here and bought real estate and all that. But overall, I, I will say the area is obviously it's, it's beautiful and I can imagine they have over they have almost 10 resorts i think in the area and i can just imagine in the winter time this place being a winter wonderland dude it would be so awesome would be cool. we're happy we're able to sneak this in and and uh get a feel for aspen really quick so that in the future like olivia said earlier we're planning to see if we want to do a, a longer stay in colorado i don't think aspen will be our top choice quite no, honestly no no yeah but uh but there's a lot of options in colorado so we're not going to be a sh we're not going to have a shortage of that <laughs> We pickling, we pickling, we pickling. Dink it, dink it. Eh. Eh. Oh shit. Do you pickle? Just magical. Got this big pink cloud up there. And we're off. We're leaving Grand Junction. Direction Montrose, heading south on 50. Olivia's at the helm. Yeah. We had a great pickleball session this morning. They were kind enough to give us late checkout, which was really nice of them. And this should be an easy hour and a half drive. Uh, probably probably gonna be, the shortest drive. Yeah, this has been a, like, I can't remember the last time we had such a short drive, but it's kind of nice. Yeah. It's not like a, a long kind of, it's a strenuous drive day. It's more lax, more chilled out. And uh, yeah, hour and a half, and it probably is gonna be raining the whole time, but it's still just a, a gorgeous scenic drive down to a new part of Colorado that we have yet to explore. We're so psyched about. Let's get it. Woo!